Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If this is your first time here or you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you doing? Please go ahead and subscribe. Also, very importantly, click on the like button. That way we are encouraged to put out more reliable and authentic news for you all. Lastly, please leave your opinions in the comment section below as well. The almighty cabinet reshuffling that, you know, a lot of people have been saying will happen has finally happened today during the FEC meeting Tenobo held with all of his ministers. Let's just say that today was the FEC meeting stroke sent forth for the ministers that have been sacked and a welcome party for those that have just been appointed President Bola Tinubu has dismissed six ministers from his cabinet as part of a major restructuring of his administration aimed at improving government efficiency. Those relieved of their duties include Women Affairs Minister Barrister Uju Ken Ohaneye, Terrorism Minister Lola Adijon, Education Minister Professor Ta Tahi Maman, Minister of State for Housing and Urban Development, Abdullahi Mohammed Guazo, and Youth Development Minister, Dr. Jamila Bao Ibrahim. The President also formally sacked the suspended Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Dr. Beta Edo. The shake-up announced by Presidential Spokesman, Bayo Nonuga also includes the reassignment of 10 ministers to new portfolios and the nomination of seven new ministers pending Senate confirmation. Similarly, Tenobu has appointed a new, fresh set of ministers, introducing new faces into his administration's cabinet as part of efforts to drive key government priorities. The appointment comes amidst a reshuffle aimed at strengthening his administration's resolve to address critical issues facing the country. The new ministers and their portfolios include Dr. Netewa Uyuwatda, Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Reduction, Mohamedou Maigari Dinyadi, Minister of Labor and Employment, Bianca Udzinaka Udzumegwe Ojuku, Minister of State, Foreign Affairs, Dr. Jumoke Uduwoli, Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Idi Moktao Maiha, Minister of Livestock Development, Retired Honorable Yusuf Abdullahi Atta, Minister of State for Housing and Urban Development, Dr. Sowal Sowaba C. Ahmed, Minister of State for Education. President Tinubu thanked the outgoing members of the Federal Executive Council for their service to the nation and extended his best wishes for their future endeavors. He emphasized that the new ministers, along with their reassigned colleagues, must view their appointment as a call to national service. The president urged the new appointees to fully commit themselves to the administration's vision of setting Nigeria on a path of irreversible growth, highlighting the importance of investing their best efforts to realize the government's priority. I love this, like... Kudos to the president for doing this. I remember, you know, when some of these ministers were appointed during the beginning at, at the beginning of their regime, he told them specifically that if you don't act, if you are not active, you are going to be kicked out, which is what he has finally done. Hopefully they get the message that <laughs> this is not, you know, a portfolio or a ministerial appointment for you to just sit down and expect salary at the end of each month. Nigerians need you to act like nigeria is in their need of solutions like nigeria this is the best time for you to you know have an input in the development and the growth of a country at this point and hopefully you know we see a change in the right direction as a result of you know the appointment of some of these new ministers 
Before we go, guys, let's take a look at some of the reactions we got online from from Deborah says the best hand that saved that served in the cabinet had been removed. Professor Tahi Mahmud, what a shame. Who will head education ministry? A medical doctor. Wow. So what did the uh, Professor Tahi Mama did that you felt is the best minister so far? Because I for one, I don't think I've I don't think I, you know, saw his impact or felt his impact in any way. But let me know in the comment section if you think that is true. For me, like I said in one of my videos, I said the Minister of Interior, I feel, is like the the, the minister who have really functioned or who have really been active the most out of all of the ministers that have been nominated. But let me know if you have any contrary opinion in the comment section. You guys, this is just my opinion. Thank you very much, guys, for always listening and watching. This is where I'm going to draw the curtain for now. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.